Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to schedule a Windows Defender scan on Windows 10 to run on a regular basis. So this should be a pretty straightforward process. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in Task Scheduler. Best match to come back with Task Scheduler here. Go ahead and just left click on that. On the right side, you want to select Create Basic Task. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Windows Defender weekly scan. I mean, you can call it daily, monthly, whatever you want. And then just select next. You can add a description too if you want to do so. Just for my example, I'm going to select the weekly. And then I'm going to select next. And then we're going to start it today and then recur every one week. And then you can select the day of the week you want to run it on. And then just select next. It's going to ask what action do you want to perform. Select to start a program which should be default. Select next again. Now for program script, you want to go copy some I'm going to have in the description of my video, so just copy it from my description here. And then we're going to paste it in. It should appear as it does on my screen here. And then for add arguments, we're going to have a couple different options. So if you want to run a full malware scan, that's going to be the first option. So it's going to be a scan type 2, so minus sign scan, and another space, minus sign scan type, and then another space, and then 2. A quick scan is just the same thing, except it's a type of 1. So I'm going to just do a scan type 2 in here. So I would recommend just copying it from my description on my video and just pasting in whatever one you want to choose to do so here. And then once you're done with that, you want to go select next again. Select yes. And check mark where it says open the properties dialog for this task when I click finish. Select finish. Now you want to select where it says run whether user is logged in or not. And then check mark where it says run with the highest privileges. And once that is done, select the Conditions tab. Underneath Power, you want to make sure both the Start the Task Only if the computer is on AC power, as well as Stop if the computer switches to battery power are both checkmarked. If you are only running on battery power, I mean, it's just trying to save you some battery life. So if you're running scans while you're on battery, it's going to be using a lot more of your battery's resources. So it'll cause your battery to decrease in capacity sooner. So just want to put that out there. So that's why we're going to have both of them checked. And then once you know with that, go ahead and select OK. You will need to provide an administrator password if you have one for your username in here. I don't actually have a password, so I'm going to leave it blank. But you might have to enter in your user account password in here just to finalize it. Again, it should be an administrator account. And then select OK. So there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.